Hey guys, what's going on? So today I am coming to you all with just a new video vlog. Um, so I was kind of searching around to see like what I wanted to do. And I had stumbled across this 32 random questions. So I decided to go ahead and read them off and answer those questions. So guys, how this is going to work is I'm going to do the 32 questions. I'm going to tag a couple of you in the, in down below. Um, and I would love it if you guys actually did the 32 question random, the 32 random question. It's not a challenge or anything. It's just, you know, something to do, you know, a little bit, of, a little bit more of how to, to get to know you, to get to know you. Uh, so, um, if you do end up doing it, definitely tag me, um, and it just, you know, just so I know. So, okay, guys, the first one is, <clears throat> do you sleep with the closet door open? That's really not a big thing for me. Uh, the closet door can be open, it can be closed. Only reason why that, the closet door would be closed is so the cat wouldn't go into the closet door. <laughs> um, it says, do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? It depends. Like if I go to a hotel and that uh, shampoo and conditioner smells really good, I'm definitely going to take it. I think it's just, I think people are, are just want to take something when they go to a hotel, you know, just because you were at a hotel, you want to take something from there. So yeah if it smells good probably kim she's definitely gonna take it all the time no matter what <laughs> do you sleep with the sheets tucked in or out definitely the sheets have to be cannot be tucked in the bed because i want to actually take the sheets and tuck them underneath like my feet and only like my you know like my feet like the sheet but it can't be tucked in because i feel claustrophobic if it is so definitely not tucked in um, have you ever stolen a street sign? Hmm. A street sign. Hmm. No, I haven't ever stolen a street sign. Sounds very fun. I always wanted to, but I never did. Um, do you cut out coupons and then never use them? Definitely. I always cut out coupons. Sometimes I forget to use them. I like cutting coupons. And I like to use them because you can get such a deal. Uh, Kim, on other hand, if she's cutting out a coupon, she's going to use it all the time. Uh, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Let me see. So if I'm getting attacked, if I'm getting attacked and I'm going to die, definitely go ahead, bear, get me. Because a swarm of bees is going to be like, take forever because you're just <laughs> doing this and the bees are gonna just be biting the hell out of you and still nothing's gonna happen but at least i know that bear's gonna come and get me you know so definitely definitely take the bear over the bees but if it was a chance that i was gonna be able to get alive come on um, come on bees because i'm gonna fight you off make sure i get some of those bees off of me um do you always smile for pictures yes i always smile for pictures Unless I'm, I mean, no, just yes. I always do. I like the camera. I love the camera. So whenever there's a camera around, I'm always like, posing for the camera. Yeah. Since I was a little girl. <laughs> do you ever count your steps when you're walking? I do. Um, not so much now, because I don't do, I mean, if I'm walking, I'm either walking around the house, walking the dogs, walking at work but like if not walking down the street or anything like that so yes and no um have you ever peed in the woods yes camping or it doesn't even have to be in the woods it could be i have to go pee and there's not a bathroom around so i'm going to pee outside somewhere <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of you have done that too, because if you gotta go, you gotta go. But you gotta be careful because you know you can be in trouble for doing that these days. So definitely be careful. Do you still watch cartoons? Um, 
not so much. I do like to watch SpongeBob every now and again, but uh, not really. Not like not like back in the day when you used to, like Saturday morning sit down and watch cartoons stuff like that. Not like that, but just every once in a while, you know, maybe catch a cartoon or you know one or two of them. Um, where where would you bury hidden treasure? If you had some hmm. where would you bury a hidden treasure if you had some I told you guys and you know where my hidden treasure would be but if I did have some it would probably be very close to where I am um, probably under my mattress or something <laughs> so I'm not gonna trust it outside cuz I can't keep my eyes on it all the time and in my house I already know who's up in there so yeah uh, what do you drink with dinner hmm most time, I don't like to drink anything while I'm eating. I like to eat and then have something to drink because if I eat while, if I drink while eating, I'm gonna get full. So I'll, afterwards, and normally it's like um, it's like a crystal light peach tea, water, juice. I love juice. I drink a lot of juice, um, if that. So or like pop or something like that. Uh. It says, what do you dip your chicken nuggets in? Uh, I don't really eat chicken nuggets at all. Um, and if I did, I'm not dipping them in, uh, well, I guess barbecue sauce or like a sweet, it's like a sour and sweet sauce. But I haven't had those in a minute, so if I did, that's what I would probably put in them. Uh, what movies could you watch over and over and still love? Um, so I love watching movies. I can watch movies, I can watch TV shows over and over and still love them. So they were specifically talking about movies. Um, I could definitely watch, uh, I don't really know what the new ones. Probably Bring It On. I can watch the first Bring It On over and over again. Um, Clueless, I could definitely watch that one over and over again and not get sick of it. Mean Girls, because um, I can watch that one over again too. And I like watching them over again because I like to know all the like the lines of the movies so that I can say it throughout the movies. You can do that. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more too. Um, <laughs> since it's kind of around the holiday time, I love watching Christmas Vacation. Uh, love, love that one. And um, A Christmas Story. You can definitely watch that over and over over again uh let's see here were you ever a girl scout no i was not ever a girl scout but i was a brownie so i don't know if you guys know what brownies were but they were cut like they were before girl scouts or before there were girl scouts there was brownies it's pretty similar but it's just a brownie so no girl scout but a brownie um uh, would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine <laughs> Um, maybe if it, maybe back in the day I would, or even today, like, okay, so like, say if I was like definitely struggling and I needed some money, I would probably, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> that's such a weird question, but yes, yeah, so maybe if I, if I had to, yeah, I'm going to. How much you gonna pay? You know, I mean, not like that, but like, it just depends on the situ what every situation that I was in. So, um, yeah, that's that. Uh, can you change the oil in your car? Absolutely no. I have a Prius, and I don't even really know what I'm looking at when I open up the top of the car, the hood of the car. Only thing I know is where to put the windshield wiper fluid in and that's about it so as far as changing some oil mm -mm. i'll look at the oil stick and be like eh, maybe it needs it but i kind of wait till my car tells me that it needs something done and then i'll go get it taken care of that way um have you ever gotten a speeding ticket no i have not gotten a speeding ticket oh god i have not gotten a speeding ticket <clears throat> Are you afraid of heights? Um, yes, very terrified. So, uh, 
one of my birthdays, Kim and I, we went to San Francisco and uh, one of the things that we we're gonna walk across the Golden Gate Bridge. Definitely wanted to do that. We actually did walk across it. Um, I was so scared the whole entire time. I was just so, I just thought it was gonna collapse. I mean, people were riding their bikes over it. They were looking over the edges over, over the edge of it. Like, just like, acting like it was nothing. And I'm sitting here terrified. Like, just keep walking. Walk straight ahead. Don't look on the side of you. Don't, don't stop. No, because I thought I was definitely falling. But I walked across it, walked back. It was cool. Very afraid of heights, though. Do you sing in the car? Of course, everybody sings in their car. Who doesn't sing in their car? If there's a good song on, you're gonna sing in your car, you're gonna think that you're the best singer ever. Um, you have your own concert, your hands are going. I mean, like, you just think, ugh. Yeah, so that's, that's definitely me in my car. Um, is Christmas stressful? Um, I don't, I think it can be stressful. Uh, I think all of the, like, everybody thinking that they have to do certain things. I feel like everybody's kind of like robotic when it comes to Christmas. Christmas is coming, the stores are getting set up, gotta get there, gotta get gifts. You know, only thing you're thinking about is gifts, 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 you know what I mean? Like that is like, you know, I think that's what makes it stressful. Um, I think for a lot of people, Christmas can, like the holidays can be a bit depressing because of, you know, family that are that isn't here or, if you have, you know, if you have family, you don't have family, I think those are the parts that make people, um, it, I guess it's a mix of like stress and loneliness. So yeah, that's a, so that is, um, I don't think it's stressful. I mean, it can be, I think it just can be a little, I don't know. I love, I love the holidays at the same time as, you know, kind of, you know, um, occupation, okay, so it's like, it's asking occupation you wanted to be when you were a kid. So, um, I've always, always, always wanted to be a fashion designer. I, I don't know, like, even, even up until, like, I graduated high school, I wanted to be a fashion designer. But I just, like, a fashion designer slash model, those things, that's what I wanted to do. Um, didn't do either. Um, but yeah, do I think about it today? Sometimes, but I mean, I had an opportunity to model, but I turned it down. Um, I was like 17 at the time and it was, it was what you want to do when you're 17. So yeah. Um, do you believe in ghosts? Um, I don't believe in like the boo, you know, like that, but I do believe that there is, uh, you know, like the spirits. Um, you know, I, I do, I guess if, if that's what you're going to ask, I do believe in goals. You know, I, I do think that like, sometimes I may, you know, see my brother or my uncle or my grandma, you know what I mean? Just, it just depends. Like those are good goals. So like watching over you kind of goes not like, you know, I, not like scary goals, but you know, yeah. Uh, it says the first concert you ever went to. So I really never went to any concerts as a kid. That just wasn't ever in the budget at all. Um, so it wasn't until I was a little older and I went to my first concert was a Natalie Merchant concert. I'm sure a lot of you don't know who that is. Uh, so yeah, it was my first concert that I went to. It was actually really cool. I mean, we didn't have the best seats or anything, but it was still got to see the stage it was pretty cool i enjoyed myself uh it says walmart target or kmart Ugh, so this is the thing i you can get a lot of things you need at target i definitely prefer going to walmart because i like to get a little bit of a deal and i just kind of like the i like uh, i don't know i think it's I can, I don't know, I'm not going to say I like the atmosphere because it's, it, sometimes Walmarts are, are crazy, you know, like the people that come in, but I like people watching, I like seeing a lot of different people, a lot of, I guess, weird people, because we're all weird in our own way. Um, so I definitely prefer that. I go to Target, I'm only going there for, I have a reason, I don't want to, I have like five things on my list and I'm going to get those five things on my list because I already know I'm not going to be able to get this or get that. So yeah, I definitely prefer Walmart if I have to go. 
to one of those places. I think, you know, you always have to go to one of those places. So definitely Walmart. Uh, Nike or Adidas? Uh, Nike, I prefer Nike over Adidas. There's nothing wrong with Adidas, but I just like Nike. Um, can you curl your tongue? I don't know what they mean when you say curl your tongue. I mean, like, mm -hmm. is that curl? That's curl, I guess. I don't know. I don't know any other way, but yeah. Um, <laughs> have you ever cried because you were so happy? Yes. There's a lot of times I cry just because I'm so happy. There's a lot of times that I cry because I'm a very, I'm in a very emotional person. Like literally I can like be watching something on TV and it could be like a good moment between whatever's going on and I'm just sitting there and I'm bawling. It just got to my heart. I'm like, <laughs> but yes, I do that often. Um, let's see what it says. The last concert that I saw, the last concert that I saw, I went and I saw Dan and Shay. Uh, they, uh, I saw Dan and Shay in um, Rascal Flats, this country band. It was actually a good show. It was uh, around my birthday. I went to go see them. I think I mentioned one of those in a vlog that I had about like the concert that I went to. Um, it was, I think, it was in Getting to Know Me Part Two. Check it out if you haven't seen it. All right. Um, can you swim well? Um, I'm not going to say I can swim well. I can hold my own in the water. I like going to the pool. You know, I can get over and do my little thing. Um, but don't put me in the middle of the ocean or anything like that. But if I had to be in the middle of the ocean, I would do what I, I, do what I could do. But, you know, so I guess I wouldn't say I can swim well, but I can hold my own. I can swim. Um, can you knit or crochet? Yes, I actually can. Um, about five years ago, I taught myself how to crochet um, from YouTube, actually. Um, and so since then, I've been like making blankets, making hats, um, just random stuff like that scarves. Um, I was actually thinking about finishing this blanket that I started making for my brother uh, before he passed. It's a Vikings blanket and giving it, I want to give it to his kids, so I'm going to finish that. I want to try and finish it before Christmas so I can send it to his family. Um, so yeah, I like actually crochet and it's really good to just like, I feel like it's like, it's, your, it's therapy, you know, your own, I don't know, it's just therapeutic. I just like to sit there and just kind of do a repeatable routine. I like that kind of thing. So yes, um, this is number 32, um, and it says, are you a dog person or a cat person? Of course I am. If you guys haven't seen any of my pets on any of my vlogs or videos, I think I may have put them on them. If not, there is a video that's going to be coming up, and it's going to be a day in the life of our pets. So, I, you know, it's going to be short, but definitely going to post that so you can get to know who um, our babies are. So yes, I love animals. I love all animals, actually. Dogs, cats. I actually have a one-eyed turtle. His name is Toby. Like, I literally rescued him. He uh, came into a job that I was at, and they wanted to get rid of him. And I was like, you know what? I'm actually just going to take him home. You know, Kim obviously didn't want another pet, but I'm not going to let him just hang out. And he was, like, literally this small. Now he's, like, big and fat. So I'll definitely put him on there, too. He's all, he stays on the patio in his little crate and just hangs out, you know. Um, and then I have birds that come by, and I feed them all the time. And, you know, um, iguana, sometimes I'll throw them some apples because they like apples. I kind of named them in the back. <laughs> My neighbors, I feel like they called me the crazy pet lady sometimes because there was one time like this mama had her babies and uh, there's a big uh, blue heron who likes to eat like little tiny like babies. So I took my broom and I was out there and I was like trying to hit him like to get the blue heron to leave the, the babies alone, you know, because it's just crazy out there, you know. I feel like outside my house is like, wildlife or something <laughs> but anyways guys yes that was the random it was um that was the 32 random questions that i answered you know i mean it's just a little i don't know I, I thought it was fun i thought it was fun answering those questions again all of these things are helping you get to know who i am a little bit better 
and I actually would love for you all to actually do the 32 random questions, you know, so that I can get to know who you are, you know, definitely guys. Drop comments down below on what you would like for me to do. Like, what would you like me to talk about? Uh, what is it out there that you would like me to do, guys? I am trying to, you know, keep all of this going here, you know, and um, if, like, you know, just get to know you all as well as you get to know me. I know I repeated myself because I already said that, but that's what I'm trying to do here, guys. And definitely, please share my videos guys definitely share them that's how people are going to get to know who i am you know by you sharing my videos i mean i'm doing my thing on my end but you know if you guys can help me out and like share my videos definitely hit that like button guys i know that you may like the video but you don't hit the like button so definitely hit the like button um subscribe to my channel definitely subscribe to my channel um uh, i think that's about it um, so thank you guys for hanging out with me this morning, um, and I will talk to you later.